Hey everybody, Rock Mixer here. Today I want to show you a really cool new plugin from the folks over at Hertz Drums. They recently reached out to me with this new drum plugin. I must say it has some really unique features and the drum sounds themselves are pretty amazing. This is the main interface. This is what comes up when you install Hertz Drums and you have a full representation of the drum kit here. You have your mixer here. Everything is on its own channel. You can go in, uh, this is channels 1 through 10, 11 through 20, and then everything is uh, like the kicks and the snares are sent to groups and you can adjust the overall volumes of them as well as the overhead room and reverb. So kind of like what you would expect in a good drum plugin. On any of these drums, if you click on them, you can hear them. Let's take a listen. Uh, let's go to a, um, a classic metal kit. And let's take a listen. Here's the kick. Here's the snare. Kick. Tom. Those are the floors. Here are the rack toms. Um, going around the cymbals, here's the hi-hat, okay, and you have uh, tight, medium, and open hi-hats, and then you have your splash, these are all your cymbals, and they give you, um, each cymbal has two samples, I believe, one is the actual hit, like that, and then they give you a choked one, which I'll uh, demonstrate after. Nice ride, I think... Uh, you have a couple of variations of that as well. So that's basically uh, the sounds of this kit. Uh, and you can obviously change things. There's different libraries and things like that. I just wanted to give you a basic idea of what it sounds like. So let's run through the interface really quick. Um, again, when the plugin first opens, you're in this view. You have your mixer view. And you can hit your kick. You can lower that kick if you want. See that? bring it up and if you go to groups you can bring the overall kick volume of both kicks and subs and everything else that goes along with them up okay so let's bring it back now when I click on this I'm on my it'll select over here what sample is playing so that's the right kick that's the left kick now when I go into the left kick you have a trim knob here this is the overall volume so you could bring that up a little if you want Okay, um, you can change the pitch of that kick drum by just moving this. Bring it back down. Okay, so you can adjust the pitch to whatever you want. That's where we have it. Okay, and then we have here, um, this is the direct of the kick. This is what goes to the overheads, and that's your sub kick, and that's your effect. So let's bring these back it's just so you can hear what's going on here so here's the kick di this is just the direct mic all right so that's just the direct mic now let's bring up the sub which is the outside mic okay so you hear that big difference now all right and let's bring up the uh, overheads so this is the bleed of the kick drum into the overhead mics so you can adjust that to what you want Hear the ambience now from it? Really, really versatile. You could dial in just about any kick drum sound you want, and that's the beauty of this thing. Um, you're, you're not limited just to that one sample. You can literally take this one sample and, and have unlimited variations of it, which is nice. Okay, so over here you have your effects. I guess that gives you kind of more more of the room sound. And then over here, you can turn different uh, mics in and out of phase. You can listen to what they do and see if you like them. All right, so over here, again, is ambience. And you have two adjustments here. You have reverb and you have room. So... Let's say I want more room sound. I just bring that up. Okay, so that's more of the room sound. And if I want more reverb and less, I could just go strictly reverb. Let's 
bring that up. So there's the reverb. Or I can just go room, no reverb. Let's put it back. And then you can go to the extreme and use both. And again, you can put these in and out of phase. Let's bring it back to about here. Okay, um, these are your velocities. You can set your minimum and your maximum, and you can change your dynamics so it's like always full on if you want it. Uh, you can reverse the drum, which is really kind of cool. And you can change the length of that reverse right there. Your reverb, this is interesting because... Um, let's bring in the reverb again. We can change the way the reverb reacts. For instance, we can do this, make it bigger. Make the length more if we want it. Change the curve of the reverb. And obviously that's way too much, but you know, you get the idea. Again, you can, you can adjust the reverb uh, to your liking and you can do the same with the, um, the room. Okay. You can adjust the room the same type of way and you can adjust the effects and you can the sub everything um you can do all at once it's up to you how you want to do it but it gives you a lot of versatility on how the the sustain is going to react with the reverb so now i'm on the snare if i want to tweak that up i can go to reverb right here and i can just kind of Give it a little more that way, get a little more direct out of it, get more ambience if I want. And this is the sub here, it will be the bottom snare. So if I pull that out, you'll hear. And then if I bring that in, you'll hear more bottom snare. See that? Pretty neat. Now here's something really cool. <clears throat> you have three different mics. Now, my suggestion to Hertz drums is I love this feature, but I really wish I knew what, you know, you have mic A, mic B, and mic C. I would love to know that that's a 57, that's a 421, that's a condenser, you know, what, whatever the mic change is, you know, maybe not even a, maybe not a 57 dynamic condenser, uh, car, you know, what, however, whatever mic they used would be nice to know which one I'm using, but instead we just use our ears for now and I can change the mic here. Listen, hear that really neat. All right. So this is the mixer view. Uh, we've gone through again, you can adjust any of these the way you want. Um, take a listen, take a listen to it and you'll see, um, I'll, I'll do a little mix on this. All right. So that's, you know, again, it's a really great sounding drum kit and you can tweak to your liking, but these samples are very high end, very high quality, they sound great. All right, now let's go to the library sampler, okay? Uh, let's hit on the snare drum. So let me explain to you what's happening here. We have three microphones. We have mic A, mic B, mic C. Um, and if I click here, you'll see if I go over, this is the box that is selected and You'll see in the upper right under instrument, it's showing you it's a steel snare, uh, five by 14. Okay. Now, if I move over here, it's a wood five by 14. So let's, let's take a listen. Um, 
again, I click, I click on this and I can hear the snare. If I click on this, now I'm hearing the wood snare. Now, each library pack, I believe, gives you five snares. So I have two library packs loaded. I have the blue pack and the red pack. So that's a dark brass, classic brass, bell brass. Now we're going to go to the red pack, which gives us a walnut snare, floater, deep snare, classic, and a black, I guess that's a black beauty. Um, and again, you can listen to the different mics. These are all the same with different mics. So let's say I wanted to use mic A with this with this snare drum. Okay, right now mic mic C is selected on the steel five um, the steel six five inch by fourteen inch drum. So all I would have to do is come up here and right click on this, and now that becomes the selected snare. But this is a nice place where you can audition the snares and. You know, uh, or any drum, any drum I click on. Now, interesting, <clears throat> when it comes to the tom sounds, each library only gives you one set of tom sounds. I would like to see more sets of tom sounds, but that's okay. Uh, you have three different microphones, so you have all different variations. Plus, you can come up to here and adjust them any way you want. So you can really get a lot of different stuff out of it. These are the different mics. These are the Japan hybrids. All right, and then over here are the Birch. All right, same with the uh, crash cymbals. All right. Hi-hats. Each kick gives you one hi-hat. And again, you can use the sample editor here to dial in just about any sound you want out of these and change the way the cymbal or drum reacts. It's really pretty powerful. All right, next on the agenda are the groove sections. Now, this is uh, something that I personally won't use because I program my own drums, but it does come with a lot of nice stuff. So here's like just a rock 4-4 four four at 118 and you hit play and you can you can click here and hear the different beats. Here are your fills. Here are your tom fills, snare toms, mixed, gives you intros. Endings. So again, this is a great library with a lot of great grooves. Um, and it's great for a songwriter or somebody doing sound design or uh, sync type stuff. This way you don't have to think about it. Uh, again, for my music, I really like to program my own drums, so I won't use this. But it's there in case you want it. All right, so if you click this little icon over here, this is your audio routing. And this is very powerful um, because what you can do with this is you can assign each output to a separate track in your DAW. So whether you're using Reaper, Cubase, Pro Tools, Logic, whatever you're using, you can set up channels and then assign the outputs to those channels. And you can get really crazy because you can assign the DI to channel one, the sub to channel two, you know, I mean, I wouldn't do it that way. I would just sign the, like the kick to that channel and then maybe the overheads to another and blah, 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 blah. But it's very versatile, very powerful, uh, really nice feature. Um, over here you have MIDI. Um, so you can MIDI map uh, any drum to any, you know, any MIDI note you want, which is great. And then over here you have your settings. And again, this is really cool because this is where you would add your library. Library, 
Um, again, I have these two libraries, um, the blue pack and the red pack, so I already loaded these. Um, but And they're right here, and I can remove them if I don't want them. Now, under settings, you also have this interesting little button here. Uh, you can go to low performance, and it will save uh, memory and DAW power for you. And then when you're ready to mix or print, um, you can you can uh, change it back to high performance. Right now I have it set up to a medium performance, um, which uses more samples. But if you go to high performance, watch what happens. You'll see it starts to load all the samples, which takes a little bit longer, okay, and uses more memory. So I go to a medium performance. Stereo flip is just simply uh, the perspective of the drums from the drummer's point or from the audience point. And... Um, the other cool thing about this plugin is you have a master dynamic setting right here that you can adjust and a master volume setting you can address. So that's basically Hertz drums. I'm going to make another video showing you how I use this drum set making a song really quick. I'm just going to do like a verse and a chorus, but you'll 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 get an idea of how I use it. All right, thanks for watching the video and definitely check these out. They got a big sale I think going on right now where you can get the drum kit and the red and the blue library at a very good price. So go to this website and check them out.